Hi, welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 6 1 from RC Hebeler Engineering Statics 15th edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the force in each member of the truss and state if the members are in tension or compression. Now, to solve this problem, first of all, we have to draw all the support reactions on this truss. So at point A, I have a pin connection. So I have a vertical support reaction and a horizontal support reaction. At point C, I have a roller support. So I just have a horizontal support reaction. Now let's label them. So this right here is CX. This is AY and this is AX. Now to calculate the values of these support reactions, we can use our equilibrium equations. So our first equation would be summation of moments at point A equals to zero. I'm considering the counterclockwise direction as positive. So AX and AY will not produce any moment about point A because they are passing through it. So they don't have any moment arm with respect to the point A. Also, the 300 Newton force has the line of action passing through the point A. Since the line of action of the force is passing through the pivot point, so 300 Newton will not produce any moment about point A as well. This 400 Newton force is trying to rotate the truss in clockwise direction about the point A. So the moment produced by this 400 Newton force will be taken as negative. And the moment arm is this two meter distance. Cx is trying to rotate the truss in counterclockwise direction about point A. So the moment produced by the Cx will be taken as positive. And the moment arm is also this two meter distance. Also, the line of action of the 250 Newton force is also passing through the pivot point, which is our point A. So this 250 Newton force will also will not produce any moment about point A because the line of action of the 250 Newton force is passing through the point A, which is our pivot point. The 200 Newton force is trying to rotate the truss in clockwise direction about point A. So the moment produced by the 200 Newton force will be taken as negative. And the moment arm is this two meter distance equals to zero. So from here, Cx comes out to be 600 Newtons. For Ax, we can do summation of forces in x direction equals to zero. I'm considering the right hand side as positive. So we have 400 minus Cx minus AX plus 250 equals to zero. And if I substitute the value of the CX, so I have 400 minus 600 minus AX plus 250 equals to zero. So from here, AX comes out to be 50 Newtons. For AY, we can do summation of forces in Y direction equals to zero. I'm considering up direction as positive. So we have AY minus 300 minus 200 equals to zero. So AY comes out to be 500 Newtons. So these are our support reactions that we will use later on in this solution. Right now we are going to use the method of joints in which we will draw the free body diagram of individual joint and then we will resolve the forces if required into the components and then we will apply the equations of equilibrium to determine the forces and their nature for each member. So starting from the joint B because it is easier to solve. We don't have to, have to resolve any force for the joint B. So we are going to start with the joint B. So joint B. And if I draw the free body diagram of the joint B, then the free body diagram would look something like this. So at joint B, I have a 200 Newton force acting in a downward direction. 
I have a 250 Newton force acting away from the joint B. I have a force due to this member BA and I am assuming it as a tensile force. Also, I have a force due to this member BC and I am also assuming it as a tensile force. Let's label them. So this right here is 250 Newton force. This is 200 Newton force. This is F, B, C, and this is F, B, A. Now we can apply the equations of equilibrium. So our first equation would be summation of forces in X direction equals to zero. I'm considering the right hand side as positive. So we have 250 minus F, B, A equals to zero. So F, B, A comes out to be 250 Newtons. And since we are getting a positive answer, and we had assumed the direction of FBA as a tensile. So this member is actually in tension. For the FBC, we can apply summation of forces in Y direction equals to zero. I'm considering up direction as positive. So we have FBC minus 200 equals to zero. So from here, FBC, comes out to be 200 Newtons. And since we are getting a positive answer and, and earlier we had assumed FBC as a tensile force, so, F, so the BC member is actually in tension because we are getting a positive answer and we had assumed FBC as a member in tension. To proceed further, now we are going to do our analysis on the joint A. All right, now for joint A, if I draw the free body diagram of the joint A, then the free body diagram would look something like this. I have the support reaction AX. away from the pin and the support reaction AY, which is towards the pin. I have a force due to this member AD and I'm assuming it as a compressive force. Also, I have a force due to this member BA and BA came out to be a tensile force. So away from the point A. Furthermore, I have a force due to this member AC which is at some angle and I am assuming it as a tensile force. So now let's label them. So this right here is AX. This is AY. This is the force AD. And this is the force AC. And this right here is force BA. I have to find this angle as well. Let's call this theta, which is same angle right here. To find the angle theta, I can consider this right angle triangle, which has a base of two meters and the height of two meters. So 10 theta equals to two upon two. So 10 theta is equals to one. So theta comes out to be 45 degrees because 10 inverse of one is 45 degrees. So now I can resolve this AC force into its components. So I have one horizontal component and one vertical component. This angle is same as the angle theta because they are alternate angles. So this right here is F AC cos theta and the vertical component is F AC sin theta. So now we can apply the equations of equilibrium. So the first equation would be summation of forces in X direction equals to zero. I'm considering the right hand side as positive. So we have F BA 
minus ax plus half ac cos theta which is 45 degrees equals to 0. So when we substitute the values half b a, a is 250 newtons and ax is 50 newtons into cos 45 degrees equals to 0. So half ac comes out to be negative 282.8 newtons and now we are getting a negative answer and we had assumed FAC to be a tensile force away from the joint A and we are getting a negative answer. So it means in fact FAC is compressive in nature and the member AC is in compression. Now for the force FAD we can do summation of forces in y direction equals to zero. I'm considering up direction as positive. So we have Ay minus Fad plus Fac find 45 degrees equals to zero. So we have, when we put the values, the Ay is 500 Newtons. So 500 minus Fad, which we have to calculate, plus negative 282.8 Newtons into sine 45 degrees equals to zero. So from here, Fad comes out to be 300 Newtons. And since we are getting a positive answer, and earlier we had assumed FAD to be a compressive force. So FAD in fact is a compressive force and the member AD is in compression. So, so far we have calculated the force in the member AD, AC, BC and BA. Now we have to calculate the force in the member DC in this member. For that we are going to consider the joint B. So now for joint B, and if I draw the free body diagram of the joint B, the free body diagram would look something like this. At joint D, I have 300 Newton downward acting force. I have a force of 400 Newtons towards the joint B. I have a force due to this member AD and AD came out to be a compressive force. So directed towards the joint D. I have a force due to this member DC and I am assuming it as compressive. Let's label them. So this right here is 300 Newton force. This is 400 Newton force. This is the force DC and this is the force AD. So now we can apply the equation of equilibrium. And since we have to calculate the force in the DC member only, so we just have to apply summation of forces in X direction equals to zero. I'm considering the right hand side as positive. So we have 400 minus FDC equals to zero and FDC comes out to be 400 newtons. And since we had assumed FDC as a compressive force and we are getting a positive answer. So in fact, FDC is a compressive force and DC member is in compression. So let me summarize it, the whole solution. So AX, came out to be 50 newtons, Ay came out to be 500 newtons, Cx was 600 newtons, the force Fba came out to be 250 newtons and it was a tensile force, the force in the member Bc is 200 newtons and it is also tensile force. The force F AC is negative 282.8 newtons 
and it was compressive. And negative is because we had assumed FAC as a tensile force earlier, but it's wrong and it is compressive. The force FAD is 300 newtons and it is also compressive in nature. And the force BC is 400 newtons and it is also compressive. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.